Hey guys, welcome to the next video on Jenkins tutorial for beginners. In this video, we will see how we can build or test a simple Maven project using Jenkins. So let's see how we can do it. So what I have is I have a simple uh, Maven project inside my Maven workspace uh, directory. And the name of my Maven project is my app. This my app project I have created using the Maven uh, website so once you are on the maven.apache.org you can just go to use section here and inside this use section you will be able to see uh, this this five minute test and i have used all the commands here to create a project so this section i have used so i have used this command which uh, created the my app directory where my uh, maven project is there so if you want to follow along you can just uh, give this command and then uh, this my app directory will be created with the maven project so once you have this project let's uh, open the terminal first of all and i'm going to just go to this directory and uh, what we can do here is for example we can give uh, mvn uh, clean and uh, test command and then uh, press enter which is going to clean our project and then run the test inside this maven project and you can see all the tests are runs and there is no failure and build is successful so let's say we want to execute this clean and test goals using jenkins and first of all we want to check our code into github and then we want to for example clone the code from the github repository into our jenkins and then execute these goals how we can do it, let's see. So first of all, for that, I need to create a GitHub repository. So I will go to the GitHub and I will log in with my credentials here. And once you are logged in with your credentials, I'm going to just click on this button, which says start a project. And in the repository name, I'm going to just write my app. And now I'm going to just uh, leave everything as default and I'm going to just uh, click on create repository. So now my GitHub repository is created and now you can see you have two options here. One is create a new repository on command line and second is push our existing repository from the command line. So we will use the first option here. First of all, we will uh, initialize the git into our project and then we will commit everything and then push it to our git repository. So let's do that. If you uh, want help, then you can just follow these commands. We will uh, just execute the similar kind of commands on the terminal. So this is our Maven project. I'm inside my Maven project. So I'm going to just write git init command, which is going to initialize git inside this directory. And then I'm going to just write git status to know the status of this directory. So I can see there are uh, two directories here and one file here. So I'm going to add this to the git. So I'm going to just write git add and then I'm going to just add a target for example and then a source and then pom.xml. Alternatively, you can also write git add dot which is going to add everything which is there inside your project directory. So I'm going to do that and then press enter. And once again, I'm going to give the git status command and you can see uh, these all files are added to the git now. So one thing which is remaining is to commit everything into the git. So we will do that. I'm going to just write git commit minus M and then the message for the committing. For example, my first maven commit. And then you can just give a space here and then write dot, which is going to commit every file inside your project. Okay, so git commit minus M, then the message, then this dot and then press enter and everything will be committed into git. So I'm going to once again uh, give the git status command. And now you will see on the branch master, everything is clean. So we are ready to uh, just push this project to our github repository now at this point you just need to copy this command which is git remote add 
and then uh, whatever is your repository URL dot git and this is going to add the remote origin for the github to your project okay so I'm going to just copy and paste this command which is git remote add origin and whatever is your uh, repository URL and then press enter and this uh, repository is added and now I'm going to push everything to my github repository using this command which is git push minus u origin master and I'm going to just paste this command and then press enter and this is going to ask for my username for github and my password for the github and now everything will be pushed to my github repository so let's check whether everything is there or not so I'm going to just once again click on my repository which I have just created and now you will see everything is pushed to my github repository and this is the message which we have given at the time of committing and you can see we have committed this two minutes ago okay so now once your project is there on the github let's create a Jenkins project first of all so I'm going to just click on new item and here I'm going to just write uh, first maven project and I'm going to use the freestyle project for now there are plugins available on Jenkins which makes uh, it easier to create and run a maven on uh, Jenkins but for now I'm going to just use this uh, option which says freestyle project and I'm going to click on OK and in the description I'm going to just write first maven project and then I'm going to just check this option which says a uh, github project and then I'm going to copy the URL of my github repository and I'm going to just paste this URL and then I'm going to leave everything as default and in the source code management I'm going to choose uh, get option here and once again I can uh, just uh, go here and click on this green button and copy the URL here for my repository and I can paste it here okay I don't need any credentials for now and the branch I'm using is the master branch you can see I only have one branch in my project which is the master branch but if you have different uh, branches you can uh, provide your branch name here instead of master and now I will uh, leave everything as default and here you can choose uh, different kind of build triggers for now I'm going to uh, just choose this option which says git hook trigger for git HCM polling and then in the build environment I'm going to choose this option which says delete workspace before build start which is going to delete our workspace and then run the goals on our maven project okay so just check this checkbox and then we will move to the build section here and inside the build section there is a special section for maven which is this one which says invoke top level maven target so we are going to use this option here and uh, if you want to uh, see the more advanced option you can click on this uh, uh, button which says advanced and here you can give the POM uh, file uh, directory path if this uh, file is located somewhere other than your default uh, project path okay and then you have more options here for example JVM options or properties uh, to give here for now we will just provide the goals for our maven project which is uh, clean and test using the space here and then I'm going to save my Jenkins job and let's run our Jenkins job and let's see if it uh, works fine or not so I'm going to just click on this build now option which is going to start the Jenkins build and then I'm going to click on the build history option which is going to show me my console output so I'm going to click on console output and you can see uh, first of all we will uh, see the default path where uh, this project is uh, checked out so you can see var live Jenkins workspace and then inside the workspace this uh, project will be created Jenkins project and then uh, our git repository will be cloned and you can see already maven is uh, running the test here and once the tests are successful at the bottom we will see if it's successful we will see uh, the message success otherwise we will see the message failure okay 
So once again, I'm going to go back and I'm going to go to my project here and you can see this build is successful now. So everything ran successfully. Now let's say we are going to define a goal which is uh, not available inside your uh, Maven project. So we will uh, define some goal which doesn't exist and let's see what happens then. So I'm going to just say some goal and I'm going to save this and then let's see what happens. So I'm going to uh, just start the build again and I'm going to just go to the build history of this uh, Jenkins build and then console output and you can see once again uh, the, the repository will be cloned and now you will see the failure because there's some goal goal doesn't exist so it's going to show us uh, this error message and then the last message here will be the failure and once we will go to the home page of Jenkins, now you will see this red ball icon here because our last build was unsuccessful, okay? So just give the proper goals here, which are logical. So clean and test are running for our Maven project. So we will just give those uh, goals here and once again run the build and you will see uh, the build will start and in the console output everything will be checked once again and then uh, you can see success once again so this is how you can test and run a simple maven project on jenkins using github i hope you enjoyed this video please wait comment subscribe and bye for now